All right, so today we're going to be talking about shoes and specifically what exercises should you use which shoe for and why does it matter. So we'll be going over generic flat soles, so like Converse Vans, we'll be going over athletic shoes, we'll be going over squat shoes, so heeled shoes, and we'll be going over deadlift slippers. So first let's start off with leg movements as that's typically the most important for uh, shoe specification. So first we'll start off with any squat or lunge variation. So for both of these, we're gonna want some sort of squat shoe ideally. Squat shoes are great for these variations as you can see that heel, which allows for greater ankle flexibility, which allows you to get deeper easier. It's also got that flat sole and a wide toe box for getting that tripod really strong base, as well as the straps for easy uh, tightness. Continuing with leg movements, we're going to be moving on to deadlift variations. So the perfect solution for these is going to be deadlift slippers. So deadlift slippers have a few main functions. So first, you'll notice that they're a little tougher on the sides. This allows for that external spreading. Uh, if you've ever deadlifted in regular shoes, you might have put in holes in the sides. That's what that's for. Uh, extra grip on the bottom, flat soles, ultra wide toe box, just kind of like the squat shoes, allows for that stronger base, as well as removable insole for less range of motion at the most lower back taxing part of the movement. It might seem minimal, but hey, everything counts. It can be 10, 20, 30 pounds extra on a lift and save your lower back. So I'm gonna lump pressing movements and horizontal pulling movements as you can pretty much use any flat shoe of your choice and it honestly doesn't matter that much. And vertical pulling movements matter even less as you're not touching the ground. So athletic shoes, which tend to get used way too liberally, are best for doing any sort of cardio or athletic-based movement, box jumps, running, jump rope, things of that nature, where you want that cushion to lessen stress on your joint. Also, just keep in mind, these are all perfect scenario solutions. So while I will have some of these shoes linked below, don't think by any means you need a $100 squat shoe to make squat progress. I never had a squat or deadlift shoe until probably the last couple years or so. Uh, I definitely think it helps, but you definitely don't need it to make gains. You can definitely substitute a squat or a deadlift shoe for any sort of flat sole, or even for deadlifting if your gym or wherever you're lifting allows, going barefoot also the cheapest option, which still works. Again, all perfect scenario. You can pretty much use flat shoes uh, for any sort of exercise. Wouldn't recommend it for cardio, but again, perfect scenario. 